All right, I took my uh, mountain man piece. I did a long time ago, probably about a year, maybe two years ago. And uh, he had a capote on and all that stuff. He was just too, too monstrous. So I decided to take him down and I liked the face. So I'm gonna do something with that uh, starting today, I think and see how far I can get and if it's gonna work out at all. All right, be right back. All right, I've got it remounted, the head, and uh, I'll make his body here. Um, well, let's just wait and see what it's going to turn out like. I'm going to start adding clay to it in a few minutes here. And I'll come right back. All right, I got most of the clay on. And, uh, well, not all the clay. I mean, I'm definitely going to have to put shoulders on them. But uh, I've got at least the clay started on the uh, armature itself. I just got to figure out what I'm going to do with this piece. I love that face, and I just got to figure out what kind of character this is going to be. I was thinking of a mountain man, or no, a, a prospector, and have him called Old, Brian, Old Blind Willie. And he was called blind because wherever he went, somebody else would come later and find gold. They called him blind because they could never see the damn gold that was right there. He wasn't blind, he just was blind to finding what he was out searching for. That's a story I developed in my brain last night as I was looking at this piece, or this face. I don't know, it might work, I don't know. Just got to work out what I'm going to do. I don't think I'm going to put a hat on him. I think what I'll do is put a bandana uh, around his head and have his hair kind of shock out like this. And then put an old shirt with holes in it and maybe an old vest. I don't know. I'm just thinking as I go along here. Okay, that's going to be the center line of his body. Now, I don't know if I'm going to do a broad shoulder on him. I might make him just a little... I don't know. Because he ain't young. This is the uh, extent of this shoulder. It's one head length wide on both sides. That's, in other words, the male is normally two head lengths across from one shoulder to shoulder. I'll figure this all out. This is an early 19, 1900 potato masher that I've uh, repurposed as a shaper of large areas of clay. So anyway, I'm sorry, there's not gonna be much seen in today's video because what I'm doing is covered pretty much in my instructional videos that I have for sale. And uh, I just have all that information available for people who uh, are willing to pay for the uh, videos. But anyway, that's uh, just a little short advertisement there. Now I've got to increase the width of his chest by at least this much. And uh, I'll do that uh, as I go along here. 
All right, I'm going to do this other shoulder, and I'll be right back. I'm sorry I'm not showing much today, but uh, like I said before, I cover a lot of this, what I'm doing in my instructional videos. Um, I'm just widening his uh, torso a little bit at, uh, because it needed to be. I'm looking at his face, and it almost looks like a really old Val Kilmer to me. But that's because of my viewpoint here in person. It may not look that way in video, but it's kind of odd. <laughs> Alright, I'm placing his ears on. I'm, they're not going to stick out that much. I just got to get them about right. And then I'm going to trim them down a little bit. Now, older you are, the longer your earlobes become. And uh, these are way too long right now. And I will take care of that. Okay, I got the ears pretty well lined up properly. double check the length of the ear uh. yep it's about perfect the distance from the tip of the nose to the beginning of the ear right on the button okay I don't think I'll call it Old Blind Willie. Nobody's going to understand that title. <laughs> and the galleries don't generally tell you the story behind it, so it's best not to give it a title that nobody will understand. Anyway, good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.